It's another day and we're on the mountain working. We're actually about to screw a golf ball to the end of a chalk line. Yep. You'll see what that's for. Everybody's doing it. And old man winter's back. What's, it's like 15 degrees maybe? Yeah, get out your gloves Hi. today. Hands are hurting. <laughs> so, uh, John O's in Sedona. Ray and Jay. Ray Florida. 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 And Arlo is just in town working on his place. Yep. Just me and Jamie, like the old days. Just like old times. Yeah, I think that looks right. Tiny screws! Son of a gun! Gloves! Okay. Woo! Right. This is so when you hit your ball, you don't lose it. It's like a ball retractor. You just reel that bad boy back in. <laughs> Seriously? That was worse. Nothing. Yeah! There it is. <laughs> got it. Hole in one. All right. Now, now we just got to go through perfect. all the rest of that. Okay. Man. Got it. Just like fishing with kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or flying kites with kids. Yeah, just like it. Man, my wife wonders why I hate flying kites. All right, he's got about a 35 uh, foot putt here. Oh, oh, tied around your ankle. There we go. In case you didn't figure it out already, the string is for the power company to pull a little bit larger diameter rope through our conduit and then they can pull their big cable through the conduit with their larger diameter rope. You probably had that figured out already, but just in case. There's already been a lot of thought put into this stairway as far as getting the height of the step and the length of the step called the run, so that when we add our finished material, it comes out at the exact same increment of height between each step from here to the top level. And there's building codes about that. Yeah, yeah. so a, these are temporary and they're actually thicker than the finished treads, but we did the math figuring on the thickness of the finished tread, not our temporary treads. Just to make sure, I'm gonna do a quick check of the riser height from here at the bottom through the run at the platform and up the top to the finished surface at the top, just to be sure that we're all got it right here. We're thinking about this operation. This can be like some complicated math, you know, like with those, uh, what do you call the little marks around them? Parentheses. Yeah, the order of <laughs> operations, right? You gotta get your order of operations. The first thing I need is this platform to be decked out in the finished material, including the finished bull nose, as if this is just the upstairs floor. You know, it needs to yeah. be done. But so, there's a little hitch here. There's a little catch. We built this a half inch too low. Because we were planning on a one inch Finished we, material. We thought we might use the tread material and just rip it in. And remind boards. me, how thick is the actual material going on here? Half inch. So we're gonna have to do two layers. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy. That's the Double. flooring that's everywhere else. Double. So what we did is we saved all the scrap pieces of the flooring that is exactly one half inch thick. And we're actually gonna glue and nail down a layer of flooring, scraps. And then we're gonna glue and nail down another layer. That sounds kind of crazy. We might actually <laughs> run them opposite directions just for fun. And for strength. All right. Well, See what I'm saying? I think that's what I would do. Hey, isn't it great that we're just using this leftover floor in here and like making it into? Like I was actually just thinking it'd be nice if we had a half inch sheet of plywood. Oh, never thought of instead that. Instead of a bunch of little pieces. I mean, it's working. Wow. Yeah. Nice. I like to take a scrap board like this and run it across the nosings of my stringer and simply put a vertical line on that piece of scrap and that there is going to tell me the angle of the stairs because I don't know what it is yet. 36 degrees. Yeah. Good to know. Yep. <laughs> What we're doing now is probably the trickiest part. We're trying to get the angles and the notches and the length 
of these skirt boards right. And, and the only way we know how to do it is really to make a pattern for the top. Jamie's got a pattern for the bottom. We'll fit those with the angles and the notches, and then we'll measure, you know, from a point on these to get the real number for the real board. If you try to just cut this in one shot. I don't think I could do it. Yeah, it's nearly impossible. So that's a pro tip. Use some templates on each end to get the length and the everything on your skirt boards. So that that's actually short of where we want to be, but we have a reference now. And so we'll draw this on and our real piece will extend past here and we'll actually scribe the back edge of that drywall corner for the placement of the cut when we have our actual piece in place. Here it comes. Is that, now we need some information from this pattern though. We'll get it lined up right there. That is, I'm just gonna very lightly draw that on there. And then right here is our flat the cut. Top of the floor. Oh, I do need to have this. That is and a the notch. We're gonna bring the notch with it because that one's working out real nice. So, what's with all the zig and the zag? It jigs, it zags. That's why we needed a pattern. You'd have never got that first shot. That's the top of our finished flooring. And then remember, we're gonna let it extend past a little, then we'll scribe the back to cut it along the vertical part of the drywall corner, all that stuff. Here we Just go. Just cut it, it'll fit. now is install this and then get some marks off of the wall surfaces on the back of this then we're going to pull it out and then we're going to cut those and then we're going to put it back in i think for the last for good <laughs> permanent permanent yeah i think then we'll be able to do something else maybe so we've got it in finally that took <laughs> i don't want to say how long Longer than it should. so now we're going to scribe the back here and um, try to do this one-handed. A little long, just in case. Jamie's gonna scribe the bottom down there on the back. We're gonna cut it, put it back in for the last time. If you enjoy learning new things and growing as a person, you should really check out our sponsor for today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions of people come together to take the next steps in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of classes on a broad range of topics, ranging anywhere from parenting to cooking to interior design. Right now, I'm taking Premiere Pro Basics with Benjamin Ortega. My name is Benjamin Ortega, and you know me as Benny. I've been working with Yoon Awesome for more than two years now, and we've been making probably more than 300 videos already. So yeah, a lot of you have been asking for how we actually make those videos. I'm planning on using what I've learned to actually switch over to editing my own videos in Premiere Pro eventually, instead of on my cell phone. Skillshare was created with learning in mind, so there are no ads, and there are always ads new courses. The first 1,000 people to use the link in our description below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Check it out and start exploring your own creativity. this bit at five inches and so I think we'll just do a five inch baseboard out of the same material around the landing and if we ended up needed something different over here we could always just nip this off a little bit to accommodate a different size or height baseboard let's have a quick look at the materials we're going to be using to do this stairwell first the riser this will be the vertical piece it's a three-quarter yellow pine <clears throat> and i got this stock at lowe's it's about 10 bucks hey that reminds me of that other builder guy rise riser risinger yeah i don't even that is that a joke i tried i tried all right up next uh the treads these are also yellow pine i got them at lowe's they're about 20 bucks each and they're one inch thick and they have a you know a rounded nosing on them already which is nice they're over length and over width. We're gonna stain these pieces once they're installed to match the rest of the flooring. And last, we have an exciting piece that was pre-made by Jamie at his shop. 
and that's a piece of our flooring attached to a piece of bullnose, and that will be our transition uh, on the landing and the top. The thing we're not painting today. Yeah. That's, that's why you don't <laughs> leave your brushes in uh, water overnight right there. Oh, that'll be fine. I don't, that'll that'll I, wash out. I think it'll work just fine. <laughs> just a little wire brush action there. So you can see that's a lot of work to get these skirt boards to fit perfectly. And you can maybe see now why it's a great idea to actually leave room to slide your skirt board next to your stringer. If you had to actually cut around all of your stair treads along with the other fitting we had to do, it would be, it would just be really hard. It'd take a lot longer. Up next, we're gonna go up this run of stairs with all the risers. We're gonna use finish nails and construction adhesive to make sure nothing squeaks or moves. And then we'll come back with all the stair treads. Shoot it! All right, I'll shoot it. Here we go. I'm putting these risers in, and the width from the store is seven and a half, and our rise is like seven and a half plus a sixteenth, which is okay. I'm just flushing them with the top here, and then the back of the tread will actually cover that gap, so that won't matter. Little pro tip here, we've got one of these risers that has a little sliver showing there. That's because we planed the back of this a little bit to get it to slide in. It's kind of diving in a little bit. And uh, it's already installed and glued, so I'm gonna do something right here. That's the pro tip, is I'm gonna actually draw the skirt board back to this. Whoa. Yeah. So there's a couple of these I'm gonna do that on and it'll look completely tight. And we just cut them square, it was fast. Man, I hate to say it, but I think that was like the tip of the year. I know, you may have one up to me on the, the pro tip there. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna have to think of a new one. <laughs> yeah. We don't have Jono's stair jig today. I think it's called the stair wizard. Stair master wizard thing. So we're gonna do another little trick here is we've cut one tread square and we're gonna use it to check all of the sides against the skirt board to see if we need to cut them, you know, a little out of square anywhere, cause I bet they will. So. Right here, you can see this side is square. We're bumping this tight to the riser. Let's bump it that way. And on this side, we're gonna need to add a 16th of an inch or maybe three thirty seconds. So pull that up. I'm gonna write plus three thirty <laughs> seconds right there. And so I'll measure the back and then I'll tell you plus 30, th three thirty seconds. And then we're gonna go on up doing the same method so we get all these perfect. You know, I love building stairs, and I think about how old timers used to build stairs, and the only way I know is I've seen some on TV, and I've torn apart some 100-year-old houses. The way that they used to do it is actually take this skirt board, which was a structural piece, it wasn't just a decorative piece always, and they would actually notch in the riser and the tread. Like a rabbit. Uh, yeah, they would rabbit the edge of it in so that it was inset in there. It was locked in place. Not only that, the slot for the tread was tapered so that they could drive wedges in from the bottom and actually push that thing up. So it wouldn't squeak. Yeah, they could really bang it in there, but the whole assembly that would make that, that was the structure. So in this case, we have like a frame for a structure. Right. Now we're adding just the finished materials, but most of the time it wasn't that way. The whole it thing, all finished it was just, it was all finished. It was all frame. It was one thing. I'm glad we're not doing that. I'm glad too. That takes <laughs> a lot of work. Some people yeah. still do that, I think. And hey, props to you. Yeah. We're done! Yay! Psych! Actually, we gotta do a whole nother set around the corner. It's uh, three o'clock now, and I think we can do it. We gotta muster up some encouragement here. Yeah, go to your inner Urbano <laughs> with those glasses. I don't, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Thank you.
that ends another day and another week at the farmhouse. Quite a hustle, I must say. Yeah, we got a lot done in a little time there at the end because we wanted it done that bad. And a little side note, what day is today in the farmhouse, do you think? 70... I don't know, two? 72. But on this video, it's going to say 71 because we skipped filming today and Ray and Jay on Ray J Builder Buddies. <laughs> I don't know what they did, but they filmed it because I needed a break. We'll see when it comes out. So look on their channel if uh, you want to see that. Thanks for building with us today. Let's go to the house. <laughs>